the last day of ICCC. Also the day that me and Andrew and Tanner were all going back. Tanner's flying back later tonight. But me and Andrew are going to be driving back to North Carolina. So the con's actually going to be pretty short for me and Andrew. Tanner's going to be there all day. But yeah, so um, we're just getting ready this morning. And yeah, we'll see you guys at the con. Alright guys, we're leaving the small Airbnb. We're kind of leaving a mess. But it's all good. Grab the last stuff, so everything else is in the car. We are gonna go ahead to Starbucks quick, and then we're gonna go to the con. So we'll see you guys today. Probably Starbucks. It's like K pop. It is K pop. That's why. But it's a freaking classic, bro. No, no, no. All right, guys, day three. We're finally here. We got the Starbucks. He says we're Andrew is walking around. That's what I do. Alright, so we are going to just chill pretty much. Film some I stuff that we didn't see. Again, okay. <laughs> Good thing I got that on film. Alright, so we're just gonna see what we can see that we haven't seen, which I don't think is much, but we're gonna have fun. Yeah, Last gonna day, we're only here for what, two hours? That's about it, so let's get it. So Oh, really? Yeah. Like I said, I'm, I'm not even all that concerned about it. It's, you know, I'll, I'll take something to modify it. I'll, I'll have to, I can make the films yeah. myself. That's cool, know. man. Can't beat that. Awesome, awesome. That's a great snare right there.
I haven't really been looking for it, but it is something that I, it'll go good in my collection. So I picked it up all, I'll probably show you guys at some point, probably like an overall haul of what I got at the con. And sadly there was some, what's it called? There was some hot toys that I didn't see. I don't know if they brought it in today or what, but I did not see those at all. It was job. You guys want to go see the speeder bike? So awesome. They took a picture of all of you guys on the speeder bike? Yeah, so there was, like I said, there was a couple of the hot toys that I unfortunately did not see. Which I'm kind of bummed about because I probably would have bought that instead of other things, but you know. It happens, it happens. You guys already saw it. But yeah, so I got like like 30 minutes before we're gonna head out of here, so let's do a couple more loops. That's about it. Um, we're about to head out, that was day three. Peter got me a surprise too. He was driving us around, so hey. Revan. Drew got me a surprise. He, he was our taxi, so we had to pay so, him at toys. The, the dumb thing, though, is that Tanner didn't get it signed by Darth Revan. Yeah, what the <laughs> hell? Drew got his signed. The one he gave me signed by Timothy Zahn. I'm the worst. But why is it not even on? I'm just, like, talking off camera. <laughs> but he didn't get it signed by Revan. I'm sorry. It's okay. I still love it. Who even plays Revan? There's no real. Timothy Zahn. No, that's the, that's the, the joke. There's no there way is for you to get the sign. <laughs> you can get the voice actor from KOTOR, but that'd be fun. Actually, that'd be Do really cool. Do we even know cool. who that is? No, I'd have to look it up. Oh. Anyway, oh, so yeah, that was the last day. I still love my new hoodie. But yeah, that was the last day. I hope you guys enjoy it. It was a lot chiller, a lot smaller. We could have stayed. Tanner's going to be here all day. I'll be here a little bit longer. My flight leaves at 6. So Tanner's going to be here for a hot sec, but... Y'all are on the road again. We are about to be on the road. So the rest of this video is me and Andrew partying on the way back. Why? All right, guys. We're saying bye to Tantan. Oh. 
It's so silent. Even though I can see them whenever. <laughs> yeah, we live like a it, 20 minutes from each other. It doesn't really matter for me, but Andrew, this is kind of sad because yeah. Andrew is saying bye to Tan Tan for, yeah, for a little bit. For, for a little bit. Yeah. For forever. Hey, you shut your mouth. I ain't going to do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, bye Tanner. That's the last time you'll see him in any of these videos. Until next time. Till next time. But he'll be back, hey, trust anything me. Anything special? He'll be back. Do you nah. want to give your overall opinion of the con? I loved it. I thought it was fun. This is my this is the biggest con I've been to, so it was a lot of fun. This is my first. Would you go next year? I would go again. <laughs> me and Louie were joking. I'm like, okay, so we're going to start a podcast so we can get in for press. There you go. You already... I would totally. All right. Because well, guess... we, we, were, we were talking about starting a podcast anyway, about like Star Wars collecting, like whatever, guitars, stuff like that. So, oh, a little bit of everything. That's that's everything. That's really cool. That's so, yeah. So, big audience. I All loved right. it. A lot of fun. <laughs> she was like, oh, big glad audience. we could entertain you guys for a little bit. Yes, sir. And yeah, we'll see Tanner probably sometime you, uh, soon. Y'all hanging around this closet? Because, <laughs> ooh, he's about to hang <laughs> it up. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. Tanner is walking back up the hill. This time by himself. And we are about to drive nine hours. So buckle up because this buckle is gonna be up, a buttercup. fun thing. Andrew's gonna hit some birds on the way down. Shoot, bro. I hope not. And oh gosh. We gotta find know. something to eat though. Before we you wanna eat before we head out. Um uh, yeah. I was gonna just plan on picking up something, taking on the road. Yes, I mean. Yeah. Um uh, yeah, we can do that. Well, I guess we'll figure out what we're gonna eat. I'm gonna take off this hoodie. Yeah, dude, you've been wearing the hoodie, and it is currently 82 so degrees Fahrenheit. I look so 82, y'all. Yeah, I'm, I'm dying. Gosh, I'm hot, and I'm just wearing a freaking t-shirt. And I might put on my crocky crocs. Oh. Well, you better do that before we get on the road. Thank you. Andrew, what did we just order? Ah, uh, bro, cookout. It's the best never even heard of it but apparently it's the best and also i felt like we ordered the whole menu but then if you look at the menu we didn't order like a penny of it no I mean, look at this thing bro they have it's so customizable it there's a reason why this line takes forever I'm trying to get my wallet out right now no i got you what no i got you bro no no you've already bought me a freaking action figure no we're i got you. i got the food. this guy anyways we're about to eat cookout i'll let you guys know we're gonna do a what's that mukbang? Muk, mukbang, yeah. Mukbang, muk, um, muk, muk, oh, bang. Oh God. <laughs> okay. All right. Dude, we, we should have done a mukbang at the chicken place. Could have. The uh, still some of the best food I've ever had. And locked. We just got our meal at cookout. Andrew, what is that? Cheer wine, bro. I don't know what that is. Explain the flavor. It's like a cherry coke. Uh, so it's. It's a southern. It's a southern based drink. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's made in either North or South Carolina, and I think it's North Carolina. And it's like a cherry soda. It tastes like the better version of a cherry coke, in my opinion. Mm. It's really good, but it's like red. It's not dark. It's like it's like a, it's like it's like red, red brown. Like a red food coloring kind of thing. Yeah, it's good. It's good stuff though. It's real good. And I got some sweet tea. Hell yeah. A big cup though, probably so, too big. This is what's called a cookout tray. I got a big double cheeseburger with Cajun seasoning on it. And then I got Cajun fries. And as you can see, uh, there's seasoning everywhere. Oh, looks amazing. Yeah, so mm -hmm. Drew got some, got got the, one of my favorite combos of all time, the fries and the hush puppies. Yeah, I got hush puppies right here. Camera focus, please. Thank you. Hush Ooh, puppies, baby. Fries, double burger with lettuce, tomato, onions, ketchup, mustard, and Cajun. But the thing is, you can't have so many options. I mean, look at the little. The patties are a little small. Wow. But uh, anyways, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. I'm excited mm. to try mm. it. Is it fire? Oh, so good. I, we got Cajun seasoning on anything. And then I also got a fudge. Peanut butter fudge. Peanut butter fudge milkshake. Dude, I'm going to have to hit that Peloton hard when I get back. Ha ha ha. Yeah, they're hot, bro. Huh? Fire, bro. Did you just 
It's good though. It's real good. No, it's so okay. good, bro. Okay. The fire, bro. Cajun fry? Dude, the hush puppy slaps. Mm hmm At the end, the aftertaste? Oh, yeah. This is his first time, y'all. Dude. Right? Pass. Welcome to the South. And, I mean... Let's see how good the sweet tea is. Oh, it's Southern, bro. Told you. You know, you know what was kind of disappointing? Mm. The sweet tea at the chicken place. Really? It was like not that sweet. I was like, wow. What are you doing? That's surprising. I know. I was really surprised. Hey, Andrew, you already done your bro, burger? I don't. I don't mess around with cookout. The one in my hometown, the patties are much bigger, but it's gonna be good, bro. That, that looks so good, bro. All right, first bite. How is it? Let's see. Look at that. What do you think? It's so good. You dropped a little burger on your mm -hmm. belly. Huh? I sure did. What blows my mind is all this food, all of it, was not even 20 bucks. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing about cookout. That's why it's so popular. We have one in my hometown. That's why it's so popular, especially all. with young people, because you get so much food for your money. It's crazy. It's, it's quality food. Like it's. I mean, it's like made to, made to order, grilled, like legit grilled food. It's not like frozen patties. Like or this stuff. is not like a McDonald meal. Uh oh. -uh. You couldn't get this much food at McDonald's for this price, no. honestly. Mm. It would be like twenty or thirty bucks, or like twenty five or thirty bucks. Yeah, twenty five dollars. I got an ice cream sh shake. We both got drinks. We both got like a double meal, double burger patties. Well, literally, that's because they'd use that tray system. Mm. So your your price will fluctuate depending on what you get a little bit, but most of the price you just pay for the tray, and they allow you to get a main thing and then two sides. But the crazy thing is they have options for sides that include corn dogs quesadillas bacon wraps here's the deal yeah. I am no yeah yeah so you can you can end up getting a double burger corn dog and fries or and hush puppies and that's like two main course things and a side with the drink included for less than 10 bucks so i had a burger and two two quesadillas yeah bro you could have a burger a quesadilla and a corn dog you can feed the whole family yeah on one tray. Less than 10 bucks per person. Well, this food slaps. So if you're ever in the south, uh -huh. go go to cookout. What are you doing? Cookout is, dude, it's great. The menu is huge, by the way, too. And they have a frick ton of milkshake flavors. Frick ton. So much. Like 30 milkshake flavors. And... They have seasonal ones too. So in July, watermelon comes out. Oh, what? Christmas time, eggnog, and like uh, sugar I cookie. Eggnog, but... uh, fall, fall time, they have pumpkin. No, but I'm saying like, they're doing, okay, so like the number one thing that a lot of people say is like, you have a smaller menu. Yeah. They're doing the opposite, but it works. Yeah. I don't know how they're making money because this stuff is expensive, but it's cheap as hell. Well, they're making money because so many people eat there. That's like, true. trust me, like the cookout at home in my hometown is always busy. I it's mean, always it's pretty busy. busy right now. There's a line. Like, that was that's the place all the youth groups go to. That's where you go after football games. Mm -hmm. That's where you because normally they're open until like super late, until like one or two a.m. Shut up. And then and so you can like, you just go late and hang out in the parking lot. Dude, these fly, fries and hush puppies are awesome. Make sure you dip your hush puppy in the Cajun seasoning. Mmm. Yeah, I do. Alright, guys. We're gonna hit the road after we eat. I wanna put this down so I can eat more, but... Overall, go check out. Check out. They're not a sponsor, but they wanna be. Hit your boy Bro, up. Hell yeah. Hit your boy up. <laughs> mail us. Mail us trays. Get that! You guys, look! Oh, have you had Bojangles? It's the stream. We're like, no, I haven't. You've never ah oh, tried calling Andrew the live stream. Call wouldn't go through. Jeremiah. Oh, what? Jeremiah tried calling me during the.
live stream, it wouldn't go through. It's because we're in the mountains. Oh, because he doesn't have a signal, but I do. You guys, look. We're, you guys are going to make the YouTube video. Say hi, chat. We are live streaming for our way home. We are... I've Con probably done it in like an hour. Content, content inception. Yes. Content on content on content. Yeah, we're going to keep talking to everyone. Call Jeremiah West. Bro, we made it to Andrew's place. Oh my god, you gotta stay still. Oh, you coming to me? Come oh here. God, not yet. Come here. Gio. Come here. Oh, good boy. Come here. No, come here. Come here. Oh, my goodness. You're being so shy. Come here. Is that your toy? The magic room. Look at this. Arms. Where are my house shoes? The glory show. Dude, where did you get these gold figures from? Hold on. And my house shoes. Why did you get this Y wing? Is that old? No. Uh, I got that for my birthday. I bought that with my birthday money like a few years ago when I was at, from MOA, the Lego store in MOA. And then the gold figures were on top of a cake, a Star Wars cake. Oh, cool. Uh, nice. my, my parents got me uh, a handful of years ago. And then there's an assortment oh, of all the But then like Power of the Force Stormtrooper. Yeah. The, the buff, everything. I don't, have, I don't have a huge collection, but... Yeah, nice little puzzle. I put that together with Kevin. We glued it. That's sweet, bro. So. And then, most importantly. Oh, what is that? My old training sword. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah. I, I kept it just in case someone breaks in. I can just Ooh. pop them real quick. Where's your lightsaber? My red one? Yeah. It's on my desk. <sighs> It is. I never got to hold it. Yeah. This thing is heavy as head. Holy crap. Yeah. Is this stuck? Yeah. It's got a little groove. Bro, what is this? Something <laughs> groovy in the background. Yeah. Dude, this is sick. It's so impractical, but. Yeah. Like, it sucks to hold it, but it's a cool, it's a super cool lightsaber for sure. no lights in this room either, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of times I'll uh, I turn this on and then for the podcast, obviously I have lights on either mm -hmm. side of the desk pointing in which is the, this is the angle because the camera's right here and then the angle, yeah. you see it that way. Obviously the kitchen lights and stuff are off. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, dude. The uh, wide wing is sick, bro. Yeah, it took me like and that, it took me like four days. Here of transport. I yeah. didn't see that back there. Okay, got me that. How old is that one? Uh, I've had it since I was in Minnesota. Okay, so because they made a new one, the one I have is the newer version of it. Yeah, that's the one that comes with old Ben Kenobi, and a sand trooper. How much was that wide wing? It had to be really expensive. It's like two hundred bucks. Really, that's it. it looks two hundred bucks. Like I don't know. I spent some birthday money on it just so I could put it together. So. <laughs> my figures are like all like falling apart and stuff because I go in there to get a book and they fall over and I never put them back. Yeah, that's fair. So that's sick though. And then all K-pop stuff. Yeah. Is that J-Hope? It is. Yeah, she's got a J-Hope pop and she's got the the whole group. Like a, the box set. A box set, yeah, down there. Over that. Oh, it's down there. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. Here. 
Oh, he's purring though. Cheeto is so happy that his daddy is home. Oh goodness! Under um, the chin. He actually warmed up to me pretty fast. Yeah, he did. Cause you didn't scare him. I told you. Goodness. Andrew was doubting my cat's. Skulls. Hey, Bubby. He's also really used to having a camera in his face. Oh, thank you, thank you. Little kisses. Yeah. Oh, that's a good boy. All right, guys. Like I said, this is Andrew's cool room. I'm gonna try to finish. I have to reorganize my entire bag right now before we leave in a few hours. So we also try to get some sleep, but. Yeah, I have to repack my whole bag because I don't even know how I'm going to do it with all this stuff I got. So, wish me luck. Alright, we made it back. Home, sweet home. Ooh, that was a long trip. It was pretty awesome though. Overall, it was sweet. Last night, I slept from, I don't even know, like three hours? Overslept, almost missed the whole flight. Um, got here with like, got there with, I don't even know, like 10 minutes before boarding. I guess it wasn't that close, but it felt close. I'm not used to, normally I'm like two hours ahead on flight, not 10 minutes. So, yep. Yeah, that was the trip. Alright guys, we are home. It's been actually a few hours and we actually ran to the mall, but we, and we took a nap. That was definitely needed, but I just want to wrap this video up. I hope you guys liked it. That was day three travel day. It was, it was actually a course of two days, but yeah, um, I'll just sh quickly show you guys what I actually got from the con. All right, so I got this uh, trooper from the old original Clone Wars cartoon show. Um, Tanner actually got this one too, but this this figure is actually really hard to find right now. So we were able to get it from the Bits and Buttons booth. Shout out to you guys. You guys were awesome to talk to and actually meet in real life. That was pretty cool. Or in person, I should say. And then I got this. This chopper, I haven't seen this one for a while, and I was able to pick this up as well. This is the last one I needed from my, uh, my, uh, not Rebels, what is it? Yeah, Rebels, the, my Rebels collection. So, I was able to get that, that was pretty cool. Um, and then I already had this book, the Thrawn book. I already had it, and I brought it, and I was able to get it signed by Tim Timothy Zahn for free, because he was the best... Because if you owned his book, he said, I already got royalties. You don't have to pay for a signature, which was really cool. So he signed, mine and Andrew both brought a book and he signed it. And he actually wrote, like, drew on it, which was really cool. So that was awesome. And then uh, the next day, I was like, I want to support Timothy Zahn. So I bought a Thrawn for me and Andrew both. And we got it signed by him as well again. So that was really cool. And then... I got this sweet poster, or art piece, I should say. It's a Boba Fett, and um, he's bringing Frodo, and he's pretty much got paid to kill Frodo, which has nothing. It's like this two cool um, um, favorite universes into one, which is sweet. I got this actually today, but I just want to show it off. I got... A ghost shaker that's the Ninja Turtle collab. It's pretty cool, and so I was happy about this. I also got this sweet hockey hoodie. This one is from, it's like a smaller local club in uh, Nashville. And so, and they were there, and they're called the Wampas. So it was cool to be able to get that hoodie and support them. And then, last but not least, well, yeah, it's last and least. Um, I stop focusing because it wants to do my face, but this is the ICCC Con exclusive lightsaber. This is 45 out of 250. It's really cool because it does have a lot of sound effects 
and it, you can change the color and stuff like that and I will probably do a bigger review video of it and break it down in a future video there's actually one more thing that's on its way here um, but it's gonna be a few days before I actually I get it but um Tanner's friend is driving it back for for me because I couldn't fit in my suitcase and then my badge was really cool so I'm gonna keep this but anyways that's gonna end ICCC con um, I hope you guys enjoyed the three videos that we po posted also there's other videos that are from the panels that are going to be up there as well. So I hope you guys like that. Also, by the time you saw this, you guys already could see that we did the live podcast. It's a 15-minute short podcast episode. So go check that out if you haven't checked that out yet. It was really fun. And it was a fun experience. And ICCC, I'm excited that um, next year is going to be just as fun, if not better. So we are looking forward to it. Y'all have a good day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.